Hey everybody, it's Carmilla. It's our lunch break. It's our lunch break. It's day two of our five days together. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm always looking forward to our time together. And so my name is Carmilla Williams. I am your small business coach. And I should quit saying small business because some of the businesses that I work with are not classified as small businesses. I'm your business coach and your business strategist um, to help you. Like sometimes I do power hours with people to help you dig deep really quick, help you identify maybe some blind spots, help you identify some income generating opportunities that you may be sitting on that you had not even thought about. And so the way my brain works, right, is that I just I strategies just kind of flow. And if you have like an overall idea, my strength is that I, or I should say my superpower is that I can take those big ideas and automatically just break them down into workable pieces, break them out down into phases that'll help you uh, move forward, forward in a logical way. And so that's what I do. Um, and I enjoy working with business owners uh, particularly those with uh, creative and unique ideas. I like working with um, new entrepreneurs who are hungry and excited and ready to um, shift their business. I like working with entrepreneurs who have been in business for a while and may feel stuck or ready to do something different to expand. Um, that's where I get uh, my greatest return and working with people who want know who they are, excuse me, they know what it is that they want. There just may be a gap in from where they are to where they're going. And I come in to partner with them to help you close that gap. That's what I do. So today we're going to be talking about clarity, getting clarity in your business. So when you jump on, say hello, let me know you're there. But today we're focusing on clarity so that you can have clarity. Now, this is one of the foundational principles of your business. Remember yesterday we talked about you got to have that foundation in place. You got to have clarity. You can't grow a business if you don't know what the business is, who you serve and how you're helping people. So this is a foundational principle. It's a foundational component. It's part of the foundation of the business. You can't put walls on it. You can't grow it. You can't take it to the next level until you are clear on what it is you do who it is you serve, um, and how you help them. And so you definitely have to be clear in that area. Um, it, and when you jump on and say hello, let me know um, the type of business that you have. Let me know the type of business that you have. So put it in the comments. You never know who's watching. Somebody may need the product or service that you have. Hey, Geneva, thank you for joining. Let us know the type of service that you have have. Even if you're watching the replay, put that in the comments because somebody may need the product or service that you have. And one thing I am not is I'm not, I am not intimidated by other entrepreneurs. I think that there's enough for all of us. Remember yesterday we talked about abundance. So I work with other business coaches. I work with other coaches. And so I believe that there's enough for everybody. Let me tell you why I don't mind working with other coaches because everybody can't deal with me. <laughs> You need to work with a coach that you connect with, a coach that you can receive from. And I'm cool if that's not me. My goal is for you to take your business to the next level, however you need to get it there, right? As long as you're doing it in a legitimate fashion, as long as you're doing it in a way that's going to um, bring honor and glory to God and there's a way that's going um, that that grows with integrity, I'm all for it. I am all for it. All right. We're getting ready to jump into this thing, and we're jumping in it a little quicker today than we did on yesterday. But nonetheless, I'm, I'm getting it here for you. I just needed to share it a couple of places real quick, make sure that it was in my group and on my page. And so I got that done, and now you have my undivided attention. Okay. All right, perfect. Got it. All right. So here we go. Step number one, step number one on getting clarity. <clears throat> clarity helps you to get real clear about who it is you serve, 
why you serve them and how you serve them. So if you have clarity as an entrepreneur, if you have clarity, you should be able to answer these three questions. So I'm gonna give you homework today. I'm gonna give you three questions for you to work through as a business owner to make sure you're clear about who you serve, why you serve them, and how you serve them. If you can answer those three questions, you're well on your way. Hey there, hey, thanks for joining. You're well on your way as an entrepreneur. So the first question um, for clarity is who? Who do you serve? You need to know who it is that you help. I call this, um, um, you gotta be specific in this area, right? It could be men. It could be women. It could be tennis shoe lovers. You could say um, you have women of color. You could say you have Christian women. You can say you have authors. These are some of the different categories that I've seen that people um, help. I've seen somebody say they love, they help jewelry lovers or, or even more specific fashion jewelry lovers. Um, and one of my clients help people who um, are on a healthy hair journey. Um, so you can be very specific about who it is that you serve, but you got to be okay with saying it. Let me tell you why that's important. A lot of times we won't be really clear with who we serve because we are afraid we're going to miss money. So sometimes in the beginning as an entrepreneur, you may not know who you serve. So let me back up and, and to be fair. When I first started coaching, I took everybody as a client because I, I didn't know who I would work best with. And so in taking everybody and being a, trying to be a coach to everybody, so I would just say, okay, I'll just do life coaching and I'll just help everybody. But the problem with me helping everybody was it felt too much like pastoring. It felt a lot like ministry. And for me, it would blur the lines. It probably didn't blur the lines for them, but for me, it felt like the lines were blurred. And so at that point, I no longer accepted people who needed life coaching because I'm a pastor and uh, I would refer them to one of my friends that helped with life coaching and life transitions. I know somebody that's a divorce coach. She helps single Christian women, uh, Christian women who are recently divorced. You know, I know somebody that helps um, Christian women who are in transition. You know, and so I would refer people out if they need that type of specific coaching. Then I was working with um, all entrepreneurs all businesses. And then in working with them, I realized that some people didn't, was not clear on what their business was, what they were going to do, who they were going to serve. They just wanted to start a business and they were kind of all over the place. And that frustrates me. And so in that, I realized that I was not the best coach for them if they still didn't have clarity on at least what they were going to be doing. Like, you know, you can say, okay, I'm going to be a coach or I'm going to sell this, I'm going to sell that. But some of the people did, was not even sure. They had like three or four ideas, like those kids um, when they're growing up, you ask them what they, what they want to be. And they say, I'm going to be a doctor, a lawyer, and a fireman. You know, they don't know what they want to do. And so I find myself going to those meetings like, oh, you know, just it drained me. It didn't mean that they didn't need help. It just means that that was not my sweet spot. Right. And so you have to decide what your sweet spot is. What is what would you do for free if you didn't have a mortgage to pay? What would you do for free if money was not an issue? Right. And so for me, I found my sweet spot was helping business owners who knew what they wanted to do, but and they knew where they wanted to go but there was a gap and that's where I come in to help you close the gap. And so number one, you have to be able to answer who do you serve and be okay with it. Even if it's a small group of people, a very, well, it ain't gonna be a small group of people, but it could be a very clear uh, niche, a very clear niche, okay? So who do you serve? Number two, why do you serve these people? Number two, why do you serve this specific group? Now, why are you so passionate in this area? For me, helping business owners, I'm passionate in helping business owners close the gap 
because I struggled with finding somebody to help me close the gap, to help me get started, to help me find an outline or a clear path to be able to grow my business, to be able to make money consistently in my business, to be able to know, to be confident in who I serve and why I wanted to help them. And so a lot of times why you want to help somebody is because you see yourself in them and it's okay for you to share that. Question number one, who do you serve? Question number two, why do you serve them? Be honest and transparent with people because people want to hear your story, right? Um, if you are helping people that are going through hardship or recovering from trauma, if you never share that you went through hardship and you overcame trauma, they may think that you don't even understand where they're coming from. So you have to be relatable. So a lot of times this question number two is because you can relate. It's because you understand. It's because you've been in that place of pain that they currently are in. And so be open enough to be honest with people and share that with them. I know we've been taught to keep all the bad stuff under the swept, sweep it under the rug, don't let anybody know. But listen, when you're building your business, people want to know who you are. You are your brand. They want to know who you are. They want to get to know you. They want to like you. They want to trust you. And when they know, like, and trust you, they will support you. It doesn't matter how many other people out there selling what it is that you're selling. If they know, like, and trust you, if they connect with you, they will, they will, as Lisa Nichols said, they will hook their train to your caboose and they will follow you if you have somewhere to take them. And so Question number one, who do you serve for clarity? Question number two, why do you serve them? And then our third question is, how will you serve them? How, what results will you help these people get? If you if you are serving tennis shoe lovers and you're selling a product, what results are you going to help them get? You're going to help them find the perfect shoe. You're going to help them find the perfect walking shoe. You're going to help them find the shoe that's the right size. You're going to show them, you're going to give them tips. Let me give you an example. I was watching a young lady that I've been working with. She was doing a live on last night and she uh, sells plus size clothes in her boutique. Let me tell you something. She began to share with us about um, proper undergarments for plus size women. She don't sell those. But she was giving so many tips on what we could do to make our clothes that she sells look better and fit better and all those things. I thought that was golden. That was gold nuggets that she was dropping. It gave us some insight. She shared tips on what she does and how it could help us. And she was going to inbox us um, the resources. And see, this is what I'm telling you. You have to have that abundant mindset, like what we were talking about on yesterday. Because she's sending out information that this is where you need to go to get the proper things in place so that when you wear my clothes, they fit the way you want them to fit. You see the difference? And so you got to help your people get the results. So just selling them the clothes or just selling them the shoes or just selling them that product that you sell is not enough. Give them tips. Give them insights. Today is Tuesday and a lot of people do like tip Tuesday. Show them how to wear your product. Give them tips on how to wear your product. Talk to them. Let them see you in the product. Tell us how it makes you feel. What transformation, what type of results would you help me get when I buy your product? Think about it also from the service perspective. What results are you going to help me get? As a coach, the results that I help my clients get is one, they're going to be very clear about who they serve. They're going to be very clear about why they serve them. They're going to be very clear about how they serve them. So the results that I help my clients get, uh, another another way to say it is I'm going to help. It's going to be easy for people to do business with you. And I say that and somebody said, I don't know what that means. <laughs> My clients know what that means. That means that you're going to have some systems in place, communication systems in place. You're going to put those things in place to make it easy for people to do business with you, to make it easy for them to check out with you. I was working with somebody and um, the client said, um, just send me over the invoice. I'm ready to pay. And they were like, well, I have these two systems, but I don't know how to create an invoice. So here I am stepping out of customer mode and stepping into coach mode and coaching them through how to send the invoice. <laughs> 
You got to make it easy for people to do business with you. Have a simple way to just request payment. They like, look, I'm ready to pay you today. And you're like, I don't, I don't, you ain't, you can't cash out me. No, everybody don't want to use cash out. What if they want to put it on their credit card? You got to have a legitimate way for people to pay you. Excuse me. So as a result of working with me, my clients are easy to work with. They master their numbers. And when I say master your numbers, that ain't, that's not just your um, pricing. That's you knowing your numbers. That's you being able to say, okay, I'm going to launch this program on January 15th. And I need to have 15 people in this class um, in order for me to hit my target goal. And when, in order for me to get the 15 people in my class, I'm going to go live this many times. I'm going to um, send out this many emails. I'm going to, I mean, we master our numbers. That's a whole process right? We take our customers on a buyer's journey. All of that is a result of working with me. I do not give homework. <laughs> That's going to add extra work to you. No, we work specifically in your business with what you are doing. So you take the tips, the tools, the resources that I give you, and then you, you apply it into your business so that your business can move forward. I'm all about taking action. So how will you serve your clients? What results will they get? Remember, whether you're serving a selling a product or whether you're serving a selling a service, you help your people get results. Let me tell you. I think I gave y'all this example um the other day. If you were I was looking for something to pick up. All right, this is my coffee mug from this morning. If you were selling coffee mugs, I want you to see, put, put whatever product you're selling. If you're selling coffee mugs, what results would you help your client get from buying your mug? My mug is microwave, microwave safe. My mug is dishwasher safe. My mug, um, it helps you remember that you are loved while you're drinking your morning coffee. You know, what are the results? My mug, the handle doesn't get warm when you warm it up. You have to be able to think about the results that you help your clients get. And regardless of the product, regardless of the service that you provide, you get results. You just got to train your mind to think that way. Okay. So let's do a quick review. Clarity is when you are clear about who you serve and why you serve them and how. So who, why, and how. If you're not clear in those three areas, that's your homework. You should be able to tell me who you serve, why you serve them, and how you serve them. Now, in the masterclass on December the 13th, in the masterclass on December the 13th, we do a whole segment on this, right? We do a whole segment on um, your ideal client. And then we practice you working on your, your, your speech on being very clear and concise on who it is you serve and the results you help them get. And we even practice it. And so when you get all out of that masterclass, regardless of the product or service that you sell, even the team, the last time the group, somebody was like, I don't really understand how this is going to happen. And so I asked the people in the class, I said, if you was to buy her product, uh, what are the benefits of it? And everybody starts saying, oh, I buy that product because it makes me feel this way. I buy that product because I need it for this. I buy that product because I need it for that. And so the group helps somebody be able to come up with their reasons why and how and all of that right there on the spot. And so that's what we do in that masterclass. In that masterclass, we talk about your numbers. We talk about you mastering your time. I give you some examples of your DMO so you can put your own together. We talk about um, fishing in the right pond, making sure you're in the right place, that you go where your people are. And then when you get there, you know exactly what to say so that you attract the right people. Sometimes we attract the people that have um, no desire to buy what it is that we are selling. And so it's real important for you to get clear and concise. You can have a mailing list full of people that want to buy puppies, but if you're selling tennis shoes, you got the wrong group of people <laughs> in your mailing list. And so listen, if you're looking for a, a class with other entrepreneurs, other like-minded people to help you grow your business, take it to the next level, 
you have a guarantee that when you attend my training, this one is on December 13th, that you're going to walk away with at least one concept that you can immediately apply, apply into your business to help you take your business to the next level. Listen, I'll be back on tomorrow with more tips, more resources to help you grow your business. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. <laughs> Have a great day.